Hey everybody, we, this is Rhino, and we are back with another episode of Plague Inc. Evolved. So, first things first, let me ask you to turn off any ad blockers, whitelist me. Today we're going to be playing the Fungus on Casual. Fungus is a pretty difficult one. We're going to be using AT boost, ATP boost for extra DNA at the beginning. We're going to be using Darwinist to increase the chance of the plague mutating, which is that for fungus is actually helpful, not helpful in a lot of things. We're going to use Aerocyte to increase the chance of it spreading by air. We're going to use, uh, let's see, we'll use Hydrophile and we'll start in a dry place. And then we're going to, let's see stick with ionized helix because we don't want to make the symptom we don't want to make it easier to cure and we don't want to devolve any of it I would bet so that's gonna be our set we're gonna play on casual to unlock another thing so this one is a fungus and so I'm gonna call it toadstool a little Mario Brothers reference Toadstool if that's spelled right the fungus toadstool so imagine toadstool from Super Mario Brothers attacking the entire planet and infecting them. we're gonna start let's see Botswana why not let's start in Botswana middle of nowhere they don't have a, a border uh, or anything. I was gonna put it in uh, South Africa, but let's do Botswana. Toadstool begins in Botswana, why not? I don't know much about Botswana. Let's see what it says when we let's click this. Formerly the British, British Protectorate of Beckhondland, Botswana adapted its new name upon independence in 1966 more than four decades of uninterrupted civilian leadership progressive social policies and significant capital investment have created one of the most stable uh, economies in Africa mineral extraction principally diamond mining dominates economic activity through the tour though tourism is a growing sector due to the country's conservative practices and extensive nature preserves. Botswana is one of the world's highest known rates of HIV AIDS infection, but also one of the Africa's most progressive and comprehensive program for dealing with the disease. It is a human place. It is a poor place. So today I learned today you learned all about Botswana. Man, if I had this game when I was doing world history, I might have actually learned some world history as a kid. We should be ready to start. We'll do air. We need to get to South Africa on this virus. Well, this fungus is going to be really in trouble. I can upgrade as much as I want my ability to go by air and sea, but if I can't get to South Africa, I, it's not going to go anywhere. This is probably one of the worst places I could possibly pick for a sport. A landlocked country. But why not challenge ourselves? When we're playing on casual, it's pretty easy to win, so we have to figure out ways to make it more difficult. So pretty much for the fungus, it needs to infect the entire population before it will spread. Well, it did get over to East Africa. There are no ports in East Africa either, but <laughs> at least it did spread. Let's see if it goes from East Africa to Sudan to Egypt. That'll work. In 
insomnia has mutated. It's a little early to be doing that. Skip forward DNA points back. Increase our transmissions some more. We want, I guess, drug resistance and cold too. Not that I think Botswana really is going to be having any trouble with drug resistance. So, everybody is infected, basically. <laughs> but it's just going to sit there. It's, it's not going to particularly die out. It's not going to particularly kill people. It's just going to sit there and maybe the random number generator will eventually decide that it infects another country. Cheap clean power discovered. Green tech firm claims they've discovered a power station that runs entirely on laughter and joy. Denies reports of oil barrels nearby. God. That would be an interesting story if you could really generate electricity from laughter and joy. And then it was just everybody's job to entertain everybody else. And it was this mad one-upsmanship of people have seen all of the laughter and joy-inducing things in the world to create as much electricity as possible. And so they have to make even more funny things, even more uh, joyful things. And it just became incredibly difficult to keep people happy because everybody has seen everything and become blasé about it. And then there's like a joy shortage and a laughter shortage. Oh, that would be an interesting story. Not a short story. Or Twilight Zone episode, as it were. And I wish they still did do Twilight Zone, uh, but... I've seen the third season of Twilight Zone, so even I know that, the, that not all Twilight Zone episodes are good. They're, they don't ever show the third season. In fact, the very last episode of Twilight Zone just never gets shown at all. And it is particularly bad. But a lot of them just don't work. Or, and the ones you've seen before, you've already seen before, so... It's this weird thing. They've discovered the fungus. I'm a little afraid I'm not gonna get this done. Oh, they're starting to work on the cure already? This is no good. We haven't really gotten out of Africa too much. We have Saudi Arabia and the Middle East. We're getting into the Asias now. Let's see. Make it more difficult. I need 25 more DNA points. Oh, look at that, Canada. Somebody can somebody in Canada got infected. There we go. Australia, Russia. That's all Russia over there, right? 25. Let's make it a little bit more difficult on them. They're still at 1% because they're probably not working that hard on the computer. This isn't a deadly disease in any sense. Nobody's died at all from it. Spreading. Keep spreading. I'll probably need a little bit of help still on the cold environments. And I guess we're at the point where we just want to save up our DNA until we're ready to pull the trigger and get up to total organ failure. Oh, it's too fast, too fast, too fast. Ah, uh, Kazakhstan, not infected much yet. It's a little strange. Paranoia has mutated, we'll leave it. Why not? 
toadstool has been placed on the watch list. Probably taking folk interest in it. This is the Southeast Asia, Indonesia, Canada's the leading global effort. Philippines. Canada shuts down its airports. Canada's not affected. We're at 131. What do we think? Are we gonna infect everybody? Greenland. Canada's infected now. We're missing Greenland. We're missing Iceland. We don't have the Caribbean. Spain. Nope, nope, nope. I missed it. Oh man, I missed one. That may have been the first time I've actually missed a bubble. Cyst mutated. We'll leave it. Let's see. Can we make anything more difficult? Not without making it more severe. With it. And then they just probably work harder on it. Why not? Let's just make it more. We're ready to pull the trigger as far as making it more difficult. We'll make it more infectious. Try and spread. Scientists exploit inflammation, that's probably no good. So I think it's more infectious than it is lethal, so we're gonna get more. Um, more infected versus just killing people. Uh, Greenland. So I think it's probably time to start doing this. Every time we do that, a new country will be infected. Spontaneous infection of Greenland. That helps us out. Make sure we have all the other countries infected. I think we have them all. So doing this is probably not helping much. But why not? We'll finish it up. And then massive spores. Options. Why not? We have 40%. Huge earthquake in China. That's not going to help him. Let's go ahead and do a genetic reshuffle. Wow, lots of people got infected really fast in Greenland. The total organ has mutated. Have we gotten everybody on the planet infected? Yes. Yes, we have. So now if we can get some more DNA points, I will put them into the four options just to show you how far this goes because I don't think we've ever done it. We will certainly go with the unlimited cheat enabled through every single um, every single plague type that way you can definitely get a picture of what it's like. So doing these is not helping me any because I've already infected everybody, every country, and every person in every country. 62% to the cure. Quickly, quickly people are being, are running out. There's 18. It'll cost 19 for the next one. I don't know if I'll have enough DNA for the next one. Let alone the one after that. Less than half a billion people alive. This... What was this one called? I forgot what the name of this virus was called. Toadstool. Yeah, that's it. Toadstool has almost killed all of... Um, all of Earth. As I knew he would. Either through malice or ineptitude. I knew it was going to end this way. This is why Toadstool 
has not gotten the game until very, very recently. Eight billion, eight million, not billion. Five million, four million. Left people dying left and right out of Botswana. Uh, I don't know if Botswana is really the place where a fungus would come from, but it might. I think it probably could. Toadstool to eradicate humans. Toadstool has destroyed the world despite its best efforts. You know, thinking up these names is the hardest part and probably the most satisfactory part of doing these episodes. We should probably do a whole Mario theme. Do like a Princess Peach or Mario or Luigi type thing. I can definitely see doing Luigi. Toadstool has eliminated all life on Earth. Correct. Good. It took us 1,080 days. It gave us a pretty low score, in my opinion, but two biohazards. Fungus is difficult. Our cure progress was all the way up to 64%. We probably could have slowed that down if we played better. I don't think I played particularly well. You don't have to play that well in, um, well, on casual. Starting in Botswana is a pretty bad place to start. Um, as far as your plague, it's not a great decision. And I think it severely hurt the score and made the time go up, which I think the score is pretty much directly related to the score. You probably all your score is just did you win and how many days did it take you. But we did it. So, Ruo file, what is that? That's probably a roll thing so we will do the norax swarm we'll see if we can play that a little different than we played it last time so here we go rule of file give your plague a bonus in rule environments so we unlocked that let's see how many do we have one two three four five six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 more things that need to be unlocked on this. Plus, there are probably another 5 or 6 things for the uh, necrovirus that need to be unlocked. So, next time we do the Noraxis worm, then the Parasite, then the Prion, and now we'll get 3 more, but there's still 10 more things we need to unlock. Lock. I'm gonna play this several times. Play each one several, several times to unlock everything. That's where you get the length of this game. It's a very short game to just play one game, but it has some replayability. But that's the end of this episode, so as always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of the video. All that helps me out. If you want to support me through fan funding, click on my name right though, that takes you to my main YouTube page. On the right is a blue button that says support this channel. If you want to follow me on Twitter or Google Plus or friend me on Steam or Battle.net, all that information is down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.